Welcome back, my lovely YouTube subscribers. Thank you guys for coming back. I appreciate you all following along with me on my new transformation journey. As you guys know, um, I'm doing a lot of different things. I'm working on myself, working on my body, working on the mental, just working on a lot of things. And I decided to document it as well. And just to show you guys the different things that I'm doing, no matter what your situation is on life, you can still do some of the things that I do as well. So, it's the new year, guys, right? 2019. Some of you have set goals, whether it be to work out, whether it be to read more, whether it be to travel, whatever it is, some of you have actually already set goals that you want to accomplish this year. And a lot of times we set goals, right? I do it myself. Every year, I set goals. I had this long list of goals, and I usually only accomplish about two or three. Hey, you know, we're only human. Sometimes we get busy in life. Things happen. But we're starting something new this year, right? And also I'm documenting too, so I cannot fall behind because you guys are watching. So this video is going to be about one of my actual New Year's resolutions, New Year's goal, you know, whatever the you know, terminology you want to use for it. And one of them is actually to read every single month I buy books. What is every month, every other month, I buy books. I buy books on tons of different subjects anytime somebody recommend it or I read a certain sermon like oh let me get that book and half the time I don't read it so this year I'm like you know what I'm not gonna buy any more books well I bought some in December but starting until I finish reading all these books I won't buy any more books I might buy some more books but I'm gonna read the ones I have first though yes so the books I'm reading this month and if you're following me on Instagram and Facebook, you already know what books I'm reading because I posted them yesterday. So, first one I'm reading, now I'm going to do this one first, is Sell or Be Sold. And this is by, and this is actually a free book. All it paid was for shipping, so it's one of my best books. Well, Sell or Be Sold by Grant Cardone. This here is a great book for people that are in sales. Basically for anybody, because think about it, you are always selling yourself. What is for a relationship? You want that person to like you. You want to make sure that person knows you're the best person in the world. There's no other person for them, right? You're selling yourself on that, right? What is for a friendship? You want to develop a friendship, networking. You're basically selling yourself, your personality, whatever it is or what it is that you have to offer. You're selling that to that person. And also in sales, if you have a sales job, basically you're selling, right? So we all are salesmen at the end of the day. And in this book, you're either selling or you're being sold. So what that means is, if you're not selling something, like you're not learning, you're not doing something, somebody is coming at you, selling you something. Even right now in this video, I'm selling you on the fact that I provide some good information for you in return that you subscribe to my channel and like my content. See, we're exchanging here, you know? And that's the way the world works. So in this book, this is a good book because he breaks down the different myths on selling and also he gives you a ton of different pointers on selling as well as you guys don't know if you don't know I have like a problem remembering things and it just came from like you know chemotherapy you know different surgeries I have a problem with remembering things so I'm usually highlighting writing things down taking notes but in his book here he makes it even easier which is one of my favorite type of books it's because let me find that he offers you questions can you see that? Get questions down at the bottom. See that? You ask your questions. You actually write it in, write in your answers. So that helps you comprehend more of what you're, what you're reading and also to remember it and put that stuff into action. So great book. Definitely a recommended read. So if you're looking for what book to get started with first or if you're low on cash, just order a free book. There you go. But it's also a great, great book. Now, I love sales, I love marketing. So of course, this is you know the book I would read first. So the other book I'm reading here, because I want to learn something new this year as well. So I'm kind of conquering two of my goals in one, one session or whatever you can call it. So this one here is Fluent Forever. And this book here shows you how to actually learn a language and really not forget it. So he goes through and shows you different tactics on how to, remember I said I have issues remembering things. So of course, learn a whole new language 
would be kind of difficult for me, but I'm going to, you know, move on through it and I know I can achieve it. Because remember last video I said, words are powerful. Your words are spells. So I know that I'll be able to learn that second language this year. So in case you wanted a language you want to learn, it's going to be Spanish. So in here, he breaks it down, give you different um, techniques on um, stuff that was, that different people have proven to help work and help you just fire different neurons in your brain and help you remember a new language. Because our brain tends to push out this stuff that it thinks isn't relevant to us. And especially when it comes to new language, because like, hey, what are you doing? So it gives you different tactics in here on how to learn a new language, as well as um, mention a couple of apps and a couple of computer apps as well that helps you just remember these languages. And the first one I'm starting off with is Spanish, because I shop in a lot of different stores and that seemed to be like a hot language. And I see a lot of people know Spanish. So I'm going to learn that one first. I haven't decided what to learn next, but if you're looking to learn a new language and actually remember it for years to come, this is the book for you. So, like I said, two of my goals were to read more and to learn something new. So I'm basically doing both this month by reading these books. So every month I have two books that I'm reading. And I know a lot of people say, oh, it's kind of difficult. I don't have time to read. You have audiobooks. So it's really kind of no excuse. When you're getting up in the morning, hit that play button and play an audiobook. When you're sitting down, I decide to read when I do my, my morning, you know, my morning tea ritual. I sit down at the table, you know, pour my tea, squeeze my lime in there, pour me a glass of my um, whatever kombucha that I'm drinking for the day. And then I sit and I read one chapter. That's it. One chapter. One chapter a day. And I'm already on chapter, I don't know, I forgot. But one chapter a day, and you'll be surprised how far you'll get. And then sometimes I read more than one chapter because sometimes stuff gets real interesting and you don't want to wait to see what's going on in the next chapter. So whatever your goals are, whether it's to read more books, whether it's to work out more, whether it's to travel more, all it takes is that first step. So I could have said, hey, I want to read more, but I never pick up a book. Pointless, right? Hey, I want to get in shape, but I wouldn't go outside to walk. So whatever it is that that goal is, all it takes is that one first step, and then you just keep doing it over and over and over again. And you'll accomplish whatever it is you desire in life. So I'm going to try not to keep this video too long. I'm already going into eight minutes. So I'm going to stop it right there. And hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what are some of your favorite books to read or what is one of your 2019 goals that you have. You know what I'm saying? Let me know and I will respond back to comments. And make sure you click that thumbs up button and subscribe as well. So thank you to everyone for your love and support. Make sure you read the description and check out my blog as well. And thank you guys. And I am looking forward to talking to you guys in our next video session. Until then, you guys have a wonderful, prosperous, and awesome day.